All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nato. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sport distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges he intends to never let go of his belt he understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to break the fight into a closer distance. Oh, well-timed with that team. Circling towards the left now. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh! Oh, that strike to the body, man. Fast pace here in the early going. Straight punch. Useful. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. The right hand just misses. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Another huge kick is true. Unable to connect with the right hook. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Three minutes to go. 
Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling some real traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. top. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Push kick there to the body. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and he's starting to show some. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good jab. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Just missed with that right hand. Ooh. Another head kick. It goes up so fast. Unable to connect there. Big shot lands for both guys. Just misses with the straight right. Finds his range with the jab. Opened up a cut on his forehead. Really good vision to block that one. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. The one-two punch is true. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. You gotta dig deep here. Switch kick. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, that one landed, yep. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, so the complexion of this one may have changed a little bit. You see the cut above his eyes, sustained in that round. One of the best cut men in the business. He'll get in there and try to close it up before it becomes a bigger issue than it already is. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it. And every time he lands, that blood will start to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, on. round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC had any major takeaways after the previous five minutes. That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Left hook, yep. Well, missed on that one. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice punch to the head. Great block there. Block there. His 
misses are entertaining. Get off first. Well, mixing it up beautifully tonight. Now he touches him with the left. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you could tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice body kick. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Great block there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Circling to his right. Oh! Oh, nice body shot. Oh! All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. I kicked it. He threw that one with all of his power. You need the takedown. 90 seconds to go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Landed that overhand right flush. It would serve him good to throw more of those. idol. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now... All the blood is coming from the cut. Head kick attempt is blocked. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful. Oh. There's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's gonna need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly he opened up a big cut above the eye and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him he is going Ready. to target that eye even Good. more in this next round third round underway nice job by him defensively there well just as he did in the previous round he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes and a good sign too doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he connects there. Oh, great block there. Well, the 
most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Superman punch now. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Lands the double jab. And then he throws an overhand right. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, that's a big knee. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Nice punch lands over the top. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Head kick partially blocked. Oh! Big shot on the three. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Oh, that's big. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Push kick there to the body. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to see. Oh! Here's the combination, he knocks him down! Oh, Superman punch! Right hook attempt, that's a miss. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Oh! That is it! Oh my goodness! All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex.
All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now, over and over, 